In this video, we've got a fidget spinner, here it is, just bought this yesterday, and I'm going to spin it and time it to see how long it takes for it to stop. I'm going to give it a good spin, and then we're going to measure how long it takes on that clock that you see over there. And then we're going to do the same thing in a vacuum to see if a vacuum can make a significant difference. The aim is to try and get it to spin as long as possible um, using the vacuum. So here goes. Um, we're just spinning in normal room air. Here it goes. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing again, now using a high vacuum, which um, I'm gonna obtain by this two-stage vacuum pump and this modified dish, this is like a Pyrex food dish, that I've drilled a hole in. So let's try it out. First we'll get it spinning, then we'll turn on the vacuum pump. So there you go folks, a vacuum doesn't seem to make a whole lot of difference as to how long it turns. Can't really figure out why, but it may be that there is more friction from the bearings than from air resistance. Thanks for watching and please check back.